It's obvious, we've entered a new world with a very unique challenge for businesses. Today, salesperson access is at an all-time low and prospects, they don't wanna interact with salespeople. And for people that are committed to staying in business, well, that's a real challenge. But there are also market share opportunities available right now. So if you're frustrated because limited access to your prospects is affecting revenue, but in your heart, you know that there's a better way to engage and to convince them, well then, this video was created for you. Now in this new world, prospects are rapidly gravitating towards on-demand and remote buying experiences. Just like a salesperson would traditionally have done for your business, now your website needs to inspire visitors to either learn more or make a purchase. So at the very least, your business needs to have a sales page that offers an on-demand buying experience that pulls prospects through your sales message because when prospects know what you know, buying becomes a no-brainer. But you can't rely on text alone because today's buyers won't burn the mental calories needed to thoroughly read about your solution. For a lot of people, reading is hard. It takes effort and ultimately your success in the new world will depend on how effortlessly you make learning about your solution. So as you create your sales page, I want you to use text sparingly down the page to transition viewers through each stage of your sales message. And then on the top of that sales page, that's where you get to make learning super easy by adding a compelling video that highlights the most important information on that page. I like to think of this video like a slip and slide that just speeds up learning. You see, video is the perfect attention hack. It's sticky, keeps people around twice as long, and video is the easiest way for people to see your solution in action. And that's why compared to text, a business video is four times more likely to be watched, and when people are done watching, they're 85% more likely to buy, boom! Now to blow your mind, more than 50% of viewers will watch a 17 minute video to the end. How many text only pages have that kind of stickiness? All right, so you need to create an effortless on-demand buying experience by giving visitors a really interesting video that engages their brain and shows the impact that your business is gonna have on their life. The perfect video and sales page combination should deliver information like your best salesperson. The only difference is when you create your sales page, you have to know what to say and in what order. But fortunately, your best salesperson has already optimized your sales process. So pick their big brain because they've already discovered which stories to tell and in what order to make buying easy. And I'm gonna give you a hint. They probably try to find common ground first and then use that as a springboard to present your offer as the solution to their specific problem, right? So just fill in the details and you've got yourself an on-demand sales experience. All right, here's a pro tip. Don't ignore the tricky conversations on that sales page like pricing, competitors, data, or even potentially your own product shortcomings. You see. Your salespeople have already been handling these objections, so your sales page, if you want it to work really well, has to address these issues also. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I fought my strategy team's advice about displaying pricing on our sales page for at least three years. And when I finally caved and created some type of small, medium, and large generic pricing, I immediately noticed that prospects financially were vetting themselves, sticker shock ended, and we started closing deals faster. So now that you know how to use a sales page, my next technique is where a large number of your new deals are gonna be won. And I call this show and tell sales presentations. While transitioning from face-to-face -to, -face to remote sales, I always think about Donald Miller and how he teaches at Business Mastery that people are drawn to clarity and away from confusion, which means in this new world of remote sales, your biggest obsession needs to be moving each and every prospect away from confusion and then closer to clarity. But before I can show you how to deliver that type of epiphany, Let's discuss what typically happens when a proposal is submitted for approval. Most salespeople email their proposals and then move on to their next deal. But that's a really low success rate tactic. You see, in most businesses, 
People don't make major purchase decisions on their own. Instead, we make important decisions as teams. And if you're relying on your internal champion who has been on each of your calls to explain your PDF proposal with the same finesse that you provide in person, you're really setting yourself up to lose. Instead, give your internal champion a show and tell presentation video that they can play for their entire team. Now, all you have to do is put your salesperson on camera while sharing your proposal at the same time and then walk your prospect's entire team through your proposal with the right level of clarity, certainty, and of course, excitement. To do this on the fly, I use a simple tool called Soapbox by Wistia that also can show you which prospects watch your video and for how long, including the parts they skip or rewatch. Now, my sales team, we use this tool to prioritize which leads are ready to buy right now. And when we started using video viewing time as an indicator of buyer's interest, we were able to prioritize which of our leads we're actually buyers and that alone collapsed our traditional nine week sales cycle into three weeks because we weren't wasting time chasing hot leads and cold leads equally. Knowing which prospects are interested, well, that's a game changer in this new world where physical access and body language are no longer available. You can also use my show and tell video technique after a sales meeting by following up with a video that answers any outstanding questions. You could introduce team members or deliver a killer product demo video. And nearly every time I follow up with a personalized show and tell video, prospects reply back with something like, I love you guys. Or how about this one from a billion dollar company in Canada? Your video sold them, totally made my job simple, awesome. I'm gonna be sending you a contract in a couple. Do you know what this human to human touch is gonna do for you? It'll set you apart, it'll spark your relationships and before you know it, your team is gonna be crushing deals like rock stars. Soapbox by Wistia, it costs $300 a year and if you wanna hear my story about how I used it to close a $200,000 deal, just click on the video below titled Show and Tell Sales Presentations. And my final video strategy knocks down one of the biggest limiting beliefs that people have about video. You see, far too often people fool themselves into believing that they need to have an expensive camera to get started. But at the beginning, I prefer you use what you got and start creating video with your phone. You don't need to get fancy with your videos. Just start recording videos with your cell phone and don't worry about people judging your video quality. People rely on video so much now that they're gonna appreciate your effort and the accelerated learning that you've created for them. Later on, when the time is right for your business, you could professionally update your videos, but for now, take massive decisive action and put your best salespeople or company representatives on camera. You know, Tony reminds us repetition is the mother of skill, which is perfect advice for DIY video creation for each video. Start recording multiple takes, the more the better and with every take, just like a polishing stone that's going down that river, your videos will continue to improve. Now I've got a pro tip for you. If you're in healthcare, real estate, consulting, construction, or any other industry, on video, I want you to teach your best tricks. Answer the frequently asked questions that you get all the time and get your existing customers on camera sharing their story about how you help them achieve their goals. You can do all of that, I know you can, but if you want me to personally walk you through my use what you got process, just click on the video below titled use what you got, creating thought leadership videos with your phone. Now, before I wrap up, you have to remember to be competitive in this new world, you need a sales page for on-demand buying experiences. You need show and tell presentation and proposal videos. You need covert viewing data that'll help you prioritize lead follow-up and you can get started right away by using your cell phone to record your videos. So now you know my top three strategies for increasing revenue in this new world where salesperson access is at an all-time low. Let's go.